Good morning, folks. It is 6.06 .06 a.m. Eastern Time. It's just after 4 a.m. here in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. We're going to go ahead and uh, turn on our screen share here if we can in this Google Plus Hangout. It's not wanting to let me do that at the moment, which is unfortunate. Um, we are coming to you with a live Google Hangout today because we do not have internet requisite uh, to let us upload a big video like we normally do. And as of right now, the screen share is not wanting to come up for me. Um, that's really unfortunate. I'm going to try to see if I can get this working here. Anyway, just in case this isn't going to work, I will go through some of the top articles for you guys to uh, look for today, and I'll put all the links uh, in the comments below. Boy, this is uh, not okay. Okay, here's what I can do. What I can do is I can post these as comments, which I will do, actually. Okay, so um, that's really unfortunate. All right, so the first thing I'm posting as a comment is to Joanne Nova's uh, website. Uh, we saw that just like NOAA and NASA had been caught uh, fiddling with their data, uh, which they haven't really explained, uh, so has the Bureau of Meteorology for Australia. Uh, they finally explained why they did what they did. I think you'll find their explanation um, somewhat hilarious. Uh, second, if you go onto science.nasa.gov, uh, there's a terrific article called Evidence for Supernovas Near Earth. Uh, I highly recommend that one, putting that link in there as well. Uh, coming up next, I'll just point the link to the National Hurricane Center for you guys to look at this. When we look at the National Hurricane Center, we see for the Atlantic, crystal ball getting ready to swing up the east coast, not going to be making landfall, and then we'll head north, north, and over into Europe. But I also want you to note what's going on in the Gulf of Mexico, because we do have the chance for tropical development right there off the coast of Texas and Louisiana. Also, we can come over to the Pacific, and uh, if you scroll down to where they have all of the uh, wind speed probabilities, the warning cones, the wind history, um, the 50 knot wind speed probabilities for Hurricane Marie in the eastern Pacific. And then what you want to do is you want to click warnings slash cone static images. And I will go ahead and I will put the link I'm using to that. I want you to just take a look at um, I'm just posting that link now. I want you to take a look at some of the cloud shear and uh, the clouds coming off of Marie. They're basically going right up uh, over the Gulf of California and they're kind of settling right there in the U.S. Southwest and the central states. Now, if you were to pull up the earth wind map, you're going to see that a lot of that heat and moisture is settling right there in the middle of the United States as well. And I'll put what I'm looking at right there. For those just joining, click all the links in order starting with the first one and it will basically go along with what we're saying here because the Google Plus Hangout doesn't feel like letting me share my screen today. Oh, now they're going to feel like letting me share my screen. Fantastic. Uh, these people hate me, but whatever. Okay, so this is what we're looking at right here, uh, kind of conglomerating right there in the United States, Hurricane Marie not coming anywhere near land, but look at all the cloud moisture coming right up into here in the United States. And that's the reason we've got the severe storms possible along with the flash flooding. Um, if you need help using the Earthwind map, if you're not familiar with how to use it, click my name anywhere on this page and it'll bring us over to our channel page. Just scroll down to the playlists right here and under valuable info, should be in here. Okay, right there. How to use the Earth Wind Map. You could probably just Google that as well and find it. Um, moving on past the weather here because um, 
We've had some stuff going on in the sun the last couple of days uh, and on the Earth. Now, we haven't had any big earthquakes uh, in the last 24 hours, and if you might remember, the warning that the Iceland volcano dropped from red to orange. And I'm hoping they're sure about that because the seismic uptick near that volcano is um, strengthening, so to speak. Uh, just something to watch going forward. Looking at the GOES solar flaring, uh, the X-ray flux the last three days, we see that we're coming down off that peak of M flares. Haven't had any in the last 24, uh, 30 hours or so. Solar wind. This is actually happening subsequent to the CME impact we showed yesterday. It almost like it came in two parts. But this is a nice little jolt to the density and a rise up over 300 kilometers per second in the speed. And you can see what happened with the plasma temperature as well. The plasma temperature went from uh, about one or 2,000 degrees Kelvin to, uh, you know, spiking pretty close to 10,000 degrees Kelvin. This has caused some geomagnetic instability, unlikely to produce a storm, but then again we do have um, we do have some pretty big CMEs on the way uh, that I think will give us a glancing blow. Now when we come and we look at the Sun at the moment, the Earth facing disk, the first thing that sticks out to you is gotta be this coronal hole right here. And as I set this in motion we're just going to look at the last 24 hours and see that we do have that lull in flare activity. There has been no eruptions to speak of in the last 24 hours. Um, but there are a few things to take note of, and that's the plasma filaments. There is a thin plasma filament in an Earth-facing position right here. We'll hope he kind of stays calm today. The big plasma filament, however, is coming over the northeastern limb, and this thing wraps around the back and all the way to the front here. This is a plasma filament that's probably 200,000 miles long at least. Uh, in terms of more flaring, I don't know if I would expect much. Uh, we do have these departing sunspots. This one does retain its delta spot at the southern region. And uh, the incoming spots appear pretty much spread. These southern incomers don't look very good. And uh, we don't have much magnetic mixing up here at this spot either. So, it is what it is. Uh, wish we had a little bit better internet to get this going today, and I wish the screen share would have worked at first so I didn't look like a complete moron. But, um, yeah, it is what it is, folks. Enjoy this little brief uh, calm in solar activity and earthquake activity, because there may be more to come. Uh, as always, eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.